Hey, good morning, and welcome to another great episode of Get in the Flow, where we are kicking your assets in gear. I'm the architect. I am Doc. Hey, today we have an incredible, incredible guest with us. Yep. Uh, we're going to introduce you to uh, Michael Flynn or Mike. He goes yeah. by both. Michael Lynn. Michael, Michael Lynn. Lynn. I, I always say Michael. Oh, yeah, Flynn is so easy. Lynn. Flynn is it. It's Michael Lynn, Michael and Lynn. he's got a, his uh, his business is Michael Lynn Film or Michael Lynn Animation. Yeah, Michael Lynn Animation Studio. My website and, is yeah. MikeLynnFilm.com. Mike Lynn Film. Awesome. Awesome. So Mike is uh, Mike's the founder of Mike Lynn Animation Studio, working with over a hundred clients oh, in uh, education, nonprofits, startups, mark growth markets. He is super, super passionate. I'm sure he's going to share this with us, but yep. he's super passionate about mentoring and developing next gen artists and entrepreneurs. Wow. And he's really proud to be able to offer internships to up and coming uh, professionals in that space. That's that's so cool. We've actually been playing around with that same. Concept. Yeah, it's been doing this for over 20 years in the uh, entertainment industry. I uh, love spending time with his wife and his uh, his 17 month old, which uh, he was telling us a little bit about behind the <laughs> scenes. That's it's it's fun when they're that little. Um, he's an active member of Spring GR alumni and mentorship team, the Lifestar Solopreneur Support Community, the Blocks alumni, where we are alumni together, and we're excited about that. Uh, and he's a huge fan of barter and trade exchanges. And uh, Michael, it is so great to have you. And uh, we're, we're so glad to have you. So uh, Doc's going to kick off our first question and get you going. Yeah, as, as we can't we can't echo it enough, man. We are such um, I'm so honored to have you. So we really want to just jump right into you telling us a little bit about your business. Sure. So my company is Michael Lynn Animation Studio. Again, www.mikelynnfilm.com. Um, yes, I have gotten the Mike Flynn. I think that's a military advisor, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and not an animator. Um, basically, what I love doing is a couple different things. I love taking content that is normally boring and making it more interesting. And one of the best ways that I know how to do that is with animation. Um, wow. So we primarily work with three groups of people. One would be software companies. So software companies, they need to communicate their message, which sometimes can be complicated in a short and engaging way. Yeah. So one example of this is a company called Smart Build. They're out of Canada. It's a software company for construction uh, projects. Okay. okay. We made them a video series. They immediately got about $30,000 in contracts. Wow. And actually raised their company valuation by over a million dollars. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> for them. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so I love I stories like that. Business, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> wow. Um, that's awesome. The second people that I love helping is I love helping realtors. Okay. Come on. That's my space. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what I don't love doing is making one video that only a couple people see and it's not very successful. Sure. What I do love doing is making realtors a video, a custom animated video for less than the cost of us producing it. Wow. Okay. So we make them a, an exclusive animated video for cheaper than it costs us to make it. And okay, here's how we do that. Yes, yeah, so tell me more. I was like, okay, my head we, just... we give them so it's it's called real estate tunes, and we give them exclusive use to use their custom video in their county, huh. and we retain the rights to resell it for a cheaper price to people outside the county. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Got only it. always only one person per county, but instead of selling the video one time, right. I can now sell the video. 3,142 times, which is that the number of counties sense. in the U.S. That makes wow. sense. Okay. So whereas a realtor for one of my high quality animated videos, like you see in the background here, Love they it. might pay up to upwards of $6,000. They can get their own custom video for two grand. That's awesome. Yeah. But That's any awesome. topic that they want, this is only for realtors. Um, our other videos are a little bit more restrained because I can't Realtor content, if one realtor thinks this might be an awesome idea, I'm pretty sure I can find two or three other realtors that agree. Right. Yeah. So right. our database, if they want to buy one of our other videos that's made, that's already been made, they can get that for 500 bucks. They can get, oh, get wow. exclusive use wow. for that video for 500 bucks. 
Wow. And if they want a hundred videos, our database of a hundred videos, they can get that for six grand for the whole year. Oh, that's awesome. You're kidding. So, yeah. That's so we're changing fantastic. the game in that way. You know, I think that's one of the coolest things about entrepreneurship, yeah. right? I think a lot of us, and you can echo this and, and tell me if this is true. A lot of us think, okay, we have to reinvent the wheel with every client, but the way to make it scalable is when you build a library like this and you're able to resell the same content over and over yeah. and over. That, well, and we, we still make it personal. So every right. video still has an end card where sure. we turn them into a character like this. Oh, right. it's awesome. So it, it's seamlessly like, oh, this is the video that they made for themselves, except right. for we're able to use economies of scale to do it. Absolutely. That is incredible. Okay, tell us about number three, because I think you only got into number two. Yep. Number three is getting your video done in a day. Okay. Um, so a lot, of, and this is for lower budget uh, companies usually. So people that usually haven't hit their six figures yet, but they need an explainer video. They need something that says what they do in an easy to understand that format so they can start getting up to that six, seven figures. Right. So in yeah. a single day, we use programs that already have asset packs. So all That's the artwork is an asset pack. So an asset, asset pack. Okay is yeah. all the characters and items are already created. I have a database of a million different objects and Sweet. I'm pulling from that database to quickly assemble a video. Great. So wow. I don't know if you have met M Lily of the Light. She's another Bloxer. Okay. okay. She posted about the blocks and less than 24 hours later, she had a completed video with voiceover. Wow. Good night. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's, awesome. So, that's just recently, wasn't it? Yeah. So I think that's like two you weeks using, ago. Are you using her voice or do you have your, you have your own voice? We people? used her voice because for her, she's a, she does a spiritual advising service. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And so for her, certain brands, um, their voice and their tone is more important. Um, yeah. We have access to wonderful voiceover artists, including uh, one of my favorites, who is the epic voiceover guy, John Bailey. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah. For another Bloxer, Mike Dion, we're working on a, it's not, it's not out yet, but we're working on a superhero take where he's the superhero <laughs> support behind the throne. Nice. So his clients are out there. So Mike Dion's a web developer. He's out there. His clients are out there trying to save the world, whether it's um, through like helping children or um, a variety of different projects. And so he provides excellent web support services. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're making, he's the power behind the throne. So we have a little superhero running through the world and he's supporting like shooting lasers and whatnot. It's, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is incredible, man. All right. Peace, All right. So I think, I think this kind of goes into it. You may have just answered this um, in your previous, but you uh, in our, in our intake and what we were talking, you know, getting set up for the, for our podcast this morning, you were uh, you had mentioned that your business is in the growth stage from six to seven figures. Yep. But how how have you been able to manage that? It's been painful. Um, so <laughs> talk about it. talk yeah. about it. Sure. So you can't operate a six figure business. At least my animation business. A six figure animation business is very different from a seven figure. Um, okay. So for the past really six years, almost five five years, but six years. Um, I've basically just been out there and when people want animations, I'm just naturally networking and yeah. there's enough work comes across my table that it's an easy six figure business. Okay. When you're moving to seven figures, you have to hand off the management of some of the projects to yes. competent people. So mm -hmm. I have a wonderful project manager, Ty Casey. We've been working together for about a year and a half now. Um, and he has really enabled, excuse me, he has really enabled me to scale up to the next level um, okay. without a capable project management, handling fulfillment, um, without kind of very intentional coaches and supports in place. I don't think that my business would be able to take that step into seven figures. Um, you really have to have scalable options. So okay. uh, when it comes to getting, getting leads in, having a pipeline, having a CRM, it's not enough to just be present, you have to take proactive steps in order for my business to get to the, the seven figure level. Sure. Wow. Holy cow. Well, can you, can you talk about maybe like yeah. what that looks like? How, how do you scale some of those processes? 
Sure. So the first thing that I wanted to make sure was making sure the quality of the product either was maintained or even got better okay. as awesome. I stepped away from the production line a little bit. Because it sure. used to be a cycle of get the work, finish the work, get the work, finish the work. <laughs> yes. As you scale up, it becomes different people have different roles and it's their job to continuously having that work. Right. Um, so one of the things that I started doing more is I started engaging more with um, Facebook groups and providing intentional value in Facebook groups. Okay. Um, another How thing that I, that? sorry. How do you do that? It's easier in entrepreneur groups uh, because I, I'm just naturally part of that world. Mm -hmm. um, adding value in real estate groups uh, became more challenging. So that real estate okay. tunes project is the most scalable of my stuff, yeah. um, but I'm not a realtor. Um, right. And so when it comes time to providing value, you're really looking for those questions that you're best suited or that you can find a good answer for. Sure. sure. Um, another thing is just... Um, forming good relationships with people uh, yeah. because people do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Right. Yes. Um, and so when I'm networking, I'm not networking usually to sell that person, but in a very honest way, I'm saying, Hey, we're going to talk together. I'm going to get to know who you are. You're going to get yeah. to know who I am. We're going to hopefully like each other a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, at the end of it, hopefully I'll have a tool in my pocket. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll turn you into a tool. So after our, our interview, I get to know you guys a little bit better. I'm like, oh, hey, if you guys want this service or you want to be connected, you want some visibility, you should talk to In The Flow. Heck yeah. It's all about that. The, the direct sale only goes so far, right? right. Now, yeah. if someone says, hey, Michael, I'm struggling with marketing. I'm trying to break from six figures to seven figures and I, I need an explainer video. Well, yeah, I'm going to say, hey, I run an animation company. Um, but a lot of times that first networking meeting is just, hey, we like each other. There's a little bit of trust built so that you, when they do refer people, they know that person's going to be taken care of. That's awesome. Wow. That's, I, I love that. And, and what I'm thinking when you're telling me this is you're starting to do things that you're really, really loving doing you know like yeah. you you have to start so much of the the nitty-gritty when you're first starting off like you said and once you get good pipeline everything like that so is, yeah. is that exactly it are you starting to do stuff that you just are super passionate about and you love the front end talking to people and then yeah. passing it off to somebody else i would say i'm equally doing things that i really love and i don't love at all um so i <laughs> love sales <laughs> as strange yeah. as it sounds so there's marketing and there's sales right yeah marketing is getting people to come to the door with a need and sales yeah. is walking them inside and saying, Hey, you've identified a need. I would love to help you. Yeah. Cool. Even though I run a marketing company, I don't love marketing. Um, right. <laughs> once people say, Hey, Michael, I, I might have a problem with this that I'm trying to address. And I have somewhat of a budget to deal with that problem. That for me is so much fun. Sure. Okay. Um, but I don't like necessarily, I think, I've also been told about all the wrong marketing ways. Like we've heard the hard pressure salesperson yeah, or the telemarketers that are just robocalls. I don't love that. <laughs> I love them. They're so great. <laughs> I like it when they call me and they put me on hold for five seconds before they actually say anything. And I say, hello, this is Joshua. And they come on finally after five seconds of silence. And they say, is Joshua there? No. <laughs> <laughs> agree. Agree. Yeah. It's not, it, maybe it's not the it's not the best process. It's not the best yeah. process. Yeah. But I think to answer your question, I think it's scalability is about successful partnerships, yeah. right? Okay. It's about um, finding out what who the people that are good people that are reciprocal that have those good reciprocal relationships, yeah. um, and then figuring out what do they need solved. Um, yeah. whether it's in my wheelhouse or not, if, if what they want solved is, Hey, I really could use a good drink. I might just get them a gift card and say, Hey, go buy yourself a drink. <laughs> like, <Right. laughs> um, but building those relationships because animation is not something that you need every day. Um, in that, in my opinion. Um, yeah. but when you do want to go down that path, whether you're making your own animated children's show, whether you're making a children's book, whether you're doing an explainer video for your company, whether you're doing an ad, it's nice to have someone that you can trust, that you can ask yeah. direct questions. Right. 
Um, right. uh, is there, I mean, I, my, my brain goes big all the time. Like, so the, my, my, my big thing coming to you is, is, is there anything that can't use animation or like, it, they're, they're, I really don't see anything out there, any entrepreneur that couldn't use your product. Now, see, this, is, this is going to sound like a strange answer. I'm going to say, I'm going to give the opposite of the answer. I'm saying there okay. are, okay. Um, okay. I would say that there are certain brands and, um, types of industries that would be better suited for live action film. Sure. So okay. animation is not great for everything. Right. Okay. Um, what animation is especially good for is things that are complicated that need to be made simple okay. or things that are hard to show in an aesthetic sense. So if you've got a makeup company and you work with models, show the models. Right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, if you've got a, a, a food company and you serve this gourmet food, let's show that gourmet food. Right. Um, animation is good for disruption and capturing attention. So if people yeah. are on Facebook and they're scrolling and scrolling, live action video will get scrolled past a lot of times. Okay. Animation at least gets you three, even bad animation <laughs> gives you three <laughs> seconds to get someone's attention then better animation allows people to stay with you and get to the end of that 30 seconds or so. Okay. Wow. I like complicated things made simple. That's really cool. That's kind of a specialty. That's really, really awesome. That's well, why it's yeah. so good for software. Yeah. I want to shift into, uh, in our last couple minutes, um, sure. I want to ask you about, um, you love, you're a huge fan of bartering mm -hmm. and trade exchanges. Yeah. Can we talk about that for just a second? What was yeah, that? Absolutely. Mean? So I'm no one should be part of four trade exchanges, but I am. Uh, <laughs> so a trade exchange direct barter is let's say you give me haircuts and I make animated videos. Yeah. So yes. I make you a six thousand uh, dollar animated video and you give me six thousand dollars worth of haircuts. Right. Awesome. I might not need six thousand dollars worth of haircuts. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I do. I don't know. Um, yeah. But a trade exchange says, hey, here are some currency units. You can, I, they can give me 6,000 currency units, okay? And then they can get currency units from the other member businesses. Right. So they don't have to sell all the haircuts to one person. Sure. Wow. Now, in, in exchange, they take a fee in cash. That's how their business sustains itself. Right. Okay. So um, I'm part of ITEX, Trade Network, IMS, and Equitrade. Okay. Wow. I'll take a fee usually of like 12 to 13% on the total process. So they help you get business. They help um, you find things that you want. Um, during that cycle, let's say I, I sell a video uh, and then I, I buy something for $6,000. Um, I might pay 12% in cash. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, dry I've barters, never heard of that. Is this yeah. on the, are you paying it on the back end? So with ITEX, um, you pay 6% when you sell something and 6% when you buy something. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. And so that's ITEX gets that fee for the facilitation? Yeah. And basically they have brokers in each, yeah. there's probably like 50 different brokers all across the US yeah, uh, okay. and different key cities. Yeah. And Basically, they'll help you either sell your services or find things that you want. So if I say, hey, I want a bookkeeper, they'll say, okay, here, here are four bookkeepers in our network that we recommend. Nice. That nice. Incredible. I've never even heard this concept. I mean, <laughs> no. I've, I've heard the idea and I yeah. love the idea. I and like direct barter is that. great. The problem yeah. is you don't always want what the other person has. Right. Gotcha. So that's when direct true. barter works out, that's wonderful. Um, but when it doesn't work out, uh, then you could be left with something that you don't really value. Yes. Wow. And this, this kind of stops that because there's a huge market of mm -hmm. different valuables in there. Yeah. And the more people that join a, a barter network or a trade exchange, the more value that trade exchange or barter network has. That's, cool. That's yeah. amazing. Okay. Wow. Man, Mike, I tell you what, man, we get, I probably talk with you for the rest of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Um, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap it up here, but the um, 
I want to ask how, how can people get in touch with you? I think you mentioned it at the beginning, but let's go ahead and go back and like, how do people get in touch with you if they wanted to uh, look at, especially realtors? Yeah. We were talking yeah. about realtors. Yeah. So if there are realtors watching this, yeah. or you know a realtor that's watching this that has terrible marketing, would like <laughs> to disrupt and grab some attention, let's uh, let's get Mike involved. So tell us how you can get. So can of course our website is www.mikelinfilm.com, but you can also call my cell phone at eight one eight eight two three. 8920. Okay, so that just reminded me of the guy that used to do LifeLock and he put his social security number on the on the yes. Yes. somebody yes. might actually call you from this now. So I mean you're it's, That's it's up right. there now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Mike, this has been uh, this has been fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us this morning. Yes. I mean, we we learned about not only your business, but just completely mind-blowing things outside of what you even do so thank you you yep. you thank you guys for having me absolutely I appreciate it guys if you're watching this make sure you look at you know click the links below mike's mike's uh, email is going to be here for you or his uh his phone number and his website will be here for you and uh make sure you subscribe to our videos we love having you we appreciate you joining us yes. and uh, this has been another fantastic episode of get in the flow we're kicking your assets in gear awesome thanks mike thank you thanks